she was complaining about tummy aches. We thought it was just chopped it, chopped it up to the flu, right? They did an x-ray and within a half hour, we had results back that she had a bowel obstruction. So 15 centimeters in total of her large intestine was taken out. They think that the preliminary results look like Burkitt's lymphoma. His breathing just didn't sound right. He had something called laryngomalacia, which is floppy airway. When she would get sick, she would immediately get a very high fever, often be in substantial amounts of pain, and she just didn't heal the way that other kids healed. She woke up one morning with a bunch of blood in her diaper and it was super random. We took her to an emergency right away. It was a few weeks of trying to figure out what the issue was. She had to get a bunch of blood transfusions. This was at the Children's Hospital in Calgary. They told us that they were not equipped to deal with uh, Luca's case and that they had to airlift her from Children's to the stallery. As soon as Kai was born, he was immediately transferred to the stallery NICU. He spent his first eight days with his intestines basically suspended above him. Our Sammy um, went from stage one to stage three. It had spread in five days to her stomach and her stomach lining. So we started chemo that day. Off the start, it's, uh, it's a whirlwind roller coaster. We just kept fighting and going through it together. And good family, good friends, the staff, though, was everything. Her primary diagnosis of, of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome was unique in that it's a rare disease and there's not a lot known about it. It can be difficult, uh, stressful on the family, but luckily with the stallery around, it makes it easier. She was number one on the transplant list for all of Canada, for the states as well. We stayed in Edmonton for three months at the stallery after that, just having her recover. Luca wasn't just a patient for them. It was this little girl that they wanted to pour their life into. We brought him into the hospital in Grand Prairie and uh, immediately got sent back to the stallery hospital. They basically rushed him straight into surgery to repair what they thought was a blocked bile duct. But as soon as they got in there, they realized he was in end-stage liver failure and a transplant was his only option to survive. They saved, they saved our little girl's life, so it's, um, we're beyond grateful, beyond grateful for what they've done. We would be lost without the story. Being a transplant kid, he's always going to be immunosuppressed. Right now, it's basically keeping him where he's at, keeping the right balance of keeping him healthy, letting him live as normally as we can. And the Stollery is always a phone call away if we ever have any questions. I like the Stollery because they make kids feel like they belong there. Thank you for helping Stollery kids like me. Kai's condition is very rare. It is very unknown um, outside his group of specialists and without them, he wouldn't be where he is today. The Stollery is um, amazing. It's when you need it, it's there. Um, we never thought we would be a family that would be advocating for somewhere like the Stollery. We never knew we would need it. And then when we did, it was everything we could have asked for. We love the staff there, we love the people there, and um, we're so thankful for it. Sam will be a Stollery kid for the rest of her life. We will be a Stollery family for the rest of our lives. I feel such peace and I feel such trust when I walk into that hospital because I know that they are doing everything they possibly can so my baby girl can come home.